Man finds out why wife takes so long in bathroom when he finds camera. James frowned when he noticed how long it had been since she entered the bathroom and didn't come out. He scratched his head as he slowly approached the bathroom door. He had no idea what was going on on the other side of the door. He pressed his ear up against the door and heard laughter. His stomach twisted, and he quickly swung the door open. H.E. had no clue what he was about to walk in on James Aston always felt blessed. He had an amazing apartment in the city, a great job, but most of all, a beautiful, loving wife named Holly. James felt he was living the dream. He felt unstoppable with such a wonderful companion by his side. But he had no idea that there were secrets hiding in his relationship. James and Holly had first met five years prior, and it felt like love at first sight. James was love-struck and now five years after that fateful meeting, they were married. James felt like the king of the world, but he had no idea that something aimed to crumble it all down around him. James wanted to make their five-year anniversary a special one. He wanted to show her that he was still the hopeless romantic that she had fallen in love with all those years ago. But James could never have prepared for what was going to happen while he happily put together the special day for his wife. Holly had changed her behavior for the last few weeks. She was grumpy and sometimes even irrational. It was a stark contrast from before. Did she have something to keep from him? James quickly forgot about this because she was his wife after all. She would tell him if anything was bothering her, but then things took an even weirder turn. Holly would take a bath every night at around 7.30 p.m., but James noticed something strange. She would spend way longer in there than she used to. What could she have possibly been doing? He couldn't guess what she was doing, but when he finally realized what it was, he felt a lump form in his throat as he froze in his tracks. James knew that he had to find out the truth about his girlfriend. He knocked on the door and asked if she was okay, however. She merely responded with, I'm fine. James knew he had to bring it up with her. He lightly knocked on the bathroom door and asked if she was all right. She snapped back with an I'm fine. James still felt that something was wrong and she wasn't telling him. He had no idea, but his gut was completely right. James started to worry about his marriage. Did she feel less than she did before? After five years together, did she have second thoughts? Why was she spending so much time in the bathroom though? And why the sudden change in behavior compared to how she used to act? James couldn't put his finger on it. It was a Friday night and James massaged his girlfriend's back before offering to run her a bath. Her face lit up as soon as James offered and he went into the bathroom. As he watched the water fill up the tub, James knew that in 30 minutes he'd finally find out what his girlfriend had been up to. But he was never expecting the truth. James ran his girlfriend's bath and he watched her as she walked into the bathroom before slamming the door shut and locking the door tight. James didn't know why, but an uneasy feeling hit the pit of his stomach. Whatever his girlfriend had been doing, spending hours and hours in the bathroom, was about to be revealed. James had planned a race in the bathroom, claiming there was an emergency. From there, he get to see exactly what his girlfriend had been getting up to. But after what he found in the bathroom, it dawned on James that his girlfriend wasn't the woman he thought she was. James quietly crept over to the bathroom door, and he could hear the swish sounds from the water as his girlfriend, presumably, moved about in the tub. He rested his ear on the bathroom door, and he could hear a faint giggle from inside the bathroom. With his heartbeat in his throat, James took a deep breath before barging into the bathroom, ultimately uncovering his girlfriend's secret. As James barges into the bathroom, he can see his girlfriend in the tub, surrounded by bubbles. What's going on? She asked, panic washing over her flustered face. But just as James was about to respond, he saw something that stopped him cold. As soon as he saw it, he felt a shiver run up his spine. You see, James's girlfriend's direction had been hiding something from him in the bathroom. Something he was about to find out about. James saw something else. Something that was inside the tub with his girlfriend. And as soon as he saw it, James felt sick to his stomach. You see, a small kitten was inside the bathtub with James' girlfriend. What's that doing here? He asked. James' girlfriend looked at James and smiled. It's for you, she said, 
happy anniversary. His girlfriend had gotten James a kitten as a gift for their upcoming anniversary. He let out a happy sigh of relief. But what had the bass been about? And her bad mood? It would turn out the little kitty came with plenty of answers. While James had been mulling over what to do for their big day, he had no idea that Holly was also working on her own plan. She had been racking her brain and was ready to pull out her hair in frustration when she saw something on one of her social media feeds. One of her friends showcased the new dog they had adopted. It was then a light bulb went off in Holly's head. They had talked about getting a pet in the past, but had never followed through, mostly because she was dog person but James really wanted a cat. It was at that moment she took the first step in a journey that would end up seeped in frustration. The first hurdle was trying to find some time alone. She didn't want to take any chances that James would see what she was up to. And the only place in the house there was true privacy was the bathroom. Being locked in there for a few minutes was usual, but she would need way longer. This is where the baths came into play. Since she was going to be spending a while in their pristine white bathroom, she might as well relax. So, she would run a bath, sink into the bubbly water, and scroll through the various shelters and their furry friends that were up for adoption. It wasn't until a week later that she spotted the perfect kitty. Holly quickly dialed the number and told them she was interested in adoption. The litter had been found on the side of the road and desperately needed homes. But the voice on the other end told her they were already taken. This was just the first problem. Sites were not updated regularly or vital information was missing. It turned into more of a headache than expected. Every dead end made her all the more frazzled, and the baths ended up necessary to calm her anxiety. Anytime James knocked on the door, she would panic and tell him she was fine. Time was running out and their anniversary loomed on the horizon, but suddenly a new post popped up on her watch list. They had a kitty ready for adoption. The poor thing had been found in a bag near a dumpster. This time, she wasn't going to hang around and wait for an answer. She got the address, made an excuse to James, and drove right there. She was going to come home with it no matter what. The meeting was like it was meant to be. The minute she picked it up, it started to purr and nuzzle into her hands. Holly got the necessary papers and quickly rushed home with the little guy. She hit the kitten in her jacket, opened the door, rushed into the bathroom, and closed the door harder than planned. She had another light bulb moment. Since James had been asking more and more about the baths, she would take one more for the grand reveal. As she slipped into the bath, the kitten swatted at the bubbles and it made her giggle. James rushed in, his face pale. She held up the little guy. Happy anniversary. The look on his face was exactly what she hoped for. The day unfolded with the three of them going to the nearest pet store to buy all the necessary supplies. James cuddled their new fur baby in his arms, beaming with the brightest smile she had seen in a long time. It wasn't just the perfect gift. The weeks leading up to the big day would make an amazing story.